Hello RuneScape, we'll miss it here with a new video on how is everyone doing. I have been a skiller for quite a few years now and it's got to a point where I don't really know how to do combat as I don't know what is good and what is okay to kill. In fact, I don't even know where to find General Grador, so I figured I'd tell you all about how I became a skiller in the first place and hopefully that's something you'll enjoy. All the drawings in this video are drawn by Hyperstan. If you like what you see, I've added a link in the description for more of his art. So, a long time ago in 2006, I had been just so unlucky to forget the password on the account that I had at the time. I was young and kinda stupid and I wasn't really the best one at security. It's kinda weird actually, because I remember changing the account password and when I tried to log back in it just did not work at all and I had no idea what to do. So, I created a new account who I called Cookman OK. I thought it was a good idea to fish my own fish, cook it and then sell it on for money, a tactic that I had been using once before. Being a quiet fancy chef and all, I went with the name Cookman OK. I started doing that tactic. I fished, cooked the food and sold it on to people for money. I didn't really get very far, I got to like level 50 fishing or something before I decided that it was boring and that I wanted to do something else. Adventuring through RuneScape, I managed to go inside a pretty dangerous cave somewhere and I died with all of my money since I was smart enough to bring it all along. After a few days break playing other games, I returned to RuneScape and created a new account once again. I decided to go with the same tactic here. Cooking and then fishing. To get a suiting name for the occasion, I went with Chef Norway. The thing is, on neither of these accounts, I never really got around to train combat, I just never really got that far. After a while, I saw other players with high non-combat stats being combat 3. When I eventually figured out that this was called a skiller, I decided to do that as well and like that, I became a skiller. Fast forward a few years from 2007 to 2010, where I had most of my stats at level 85, I failed chef as I mentioned in some of my other videos, thanks to an evil imp cult and dungeoneering, and I created Will Miss It instead with a pretty good experience of what a skiller is. Today, I'm a max skiller with all level 99s, being among the world's best skillers out there. So, that is how I became a skiller and how I continue to where I am today. It's not that I dislike combat, but I've kinda just grown to find it boring and it's not really my thing. People tend to ask like what the point of a skiller is and to be fair, it's just a challenge. A sort of game mode where you just avoid killing things and a lot of skills are harder than what they may seem for the combat people because well, they're easier if you train combat and have the combat advantage. And I don't really believe any skiller should get any kind of special treatment as it would defeat the entire challenge of being a skiller. But then again, that is just my view of it. Let me know in the comment section below how you got to where you are today in your escaping life. My name is Will Miss It and I'll see you guys later.